Hello guys, today we will look together at content ticker and the way how it, how we should use it. Uh, how does content ticker work? Uh, there are a few things you should know. Uh, content ticker looks for the best match for titles on the slide. It looks for the biggest font size and the closest to the top position to identify the slides uh, to check. It compares the text inside every single paragraph. It can show mistakes if there is any change like spacing, paragraphs, edit, or similar. Page numbers sometimes also show up as mistake if they are not part of the master slide uh, placeholders. And Content Checker also might point out uh, things that are not necessarily always wrong. It just points out the, the possibility of a mistake. So first thing you need to know when you are uploading the files uh, they need to be in the correct format which is pptx otherwise the content checker will not work for you after you submit the file to be checked and the input file content checker will start to work and you might wait for a minute and then the file is done and you might download your content checker report when you open the file you will spot the first page, which uh, says just some kind of thank you message for using the app. And it will mention the few things Content Checker can't check for you. And also it says to you that you are feel, uh, you can feel free to provide feedback so we can improve the app. Next page will uh, point out the slides that might miss. Therefore, in this case, you might want to check this slide number three, which is agenda slide, if it really is in the output file. And then you get to the other slides, which might have different types of report boxes. So let's take a look on what kind of boxes you can see. So there is always this bigger box, uh, which is on the right side of the slide which warns you if there is some potential content mistake in the slide and it says the input reference slide number that you should compare the slides to. Then it will show you the other boxes like for example content edit which will always be orange. Then we have content deleted or content changed which is yellow color. Blue is check capitalization warning. Then we have warning for input slide has animations, so you should check if animations are applied correctly or if they are not missing totally. And then we have warning for missing or changed speakers notes. There are a few things that Content Checker can't check for you. Let's take a look on each of them. Content Checker can't show you if your slides are in correct order. As you can see on the left side, uh, the input had uh, the last thank you slide, but now we mixed up the order of the slides, but Content Checker will not report this for us. There is the same issue with the right order of the elements or boxes. So as we can see on the example, here we have the first bullet point, which got as the second bullet point in the output, but since all the content is there, but they are just switched, Content Checker will not let us know about this issue. As well, the same thing is with bolding or italics of the text. On example, we can see that there was one text bolded in the input file, but in the output file, the bolding is missing. The same goes for the highlight of text or the box. So here we had one highlighted box, but there is no box highlighted in the output. And we also had one part of the text highlighted in the pink. But in the output, we actually highlighted the wrong part, but there is no way how Content Checker can find out this. The other issue is with hyperlinks. If we have some uh, hyperlink in the input and by copy pasting the text, we delete the hyperlink, Content Checker will also not recognize this. So please be always care careful when you see some underlined text in the input because it might mean that 
it's either underlined and there is no hyperlink or actually it is a hyperlink that we need to keep. Uh, if we are dealing with recreation of the pictures or handwritten notes, of course there is no way how content share can check for us some content mistakes. That's why every single text we will add will show as a content edit. Therefore you need to ignore all of these boxes and content check manually yourself. So in this uh, example we can see that there was actually one mistake. So we would need to find this one uh, manually. The app also does not check if data inside graphs has been changed. What does this mean is that the content checker can't go directly to the Excel data and check if these are correct. So for example, in the input, we can see that the data looks this way in the graph and in output, they've been obviously changed, but since we have no data label that would show the numbers, there is no text for a content checker to, to check. That's why it will not point out any mistake. But what it will point out is actually this mistake. We're in the input we had uh, text 2020, and in output we changed it, and uh, we have 2025. And since it is now the text in the graph, Content Checker will spot this mistake. Content Checker also can't check for us if words are breaking wrongly within the shapes. So here we have example. In the input, the words are nicely each word on the separate line. But since we increased the text size, they broke in a not nice way thanks to the automatic formatting. So we can see that we have like one letter on the separate line or so. But since it is still uh, the same word, Content Checker will not spot this as a mistake. But what it will spot as a mistake is if we actually use the enter for breaking the words into separate lines, like in this case where we broke down the crown uh, by the enter. And then we change the word and the uh, content checker will spot this. Another issue that we can meet with is that content checker is showing me that there is some text deleted that I can't see in the input. Why this can happen? So, uh, as we can see on the example, in the output, a uh, content checker reported that there was content deleted and the text says February to March 2020. So since I can't see any text like this in the input, I will use the control F to find if there is such a word or sentence. So I go to input file, I press control F, I will uh, copy paste the text from the content uh, checker box and I will search. Now as you can see the the find tool found the text in here. The only problem was that the text was invisible because it was the same color as the background. This uh, sometimes happens and that's why this is the most effective way how to find this text. And generally the control F uh, in work with content checker is really smart tool to use because it can speed up the process in finding the text that was either deleted or changed. The one of the last thing is that under the content checker tool, we have the cleanup tool, which is really important part of this process. So it deletes the content checker boxes for you, which is very useful because uh, instead of working in the three files, you can work only in two files and all of us should start to use this tool much more. So how does it work? So first just open the, open the input file and content checker report and check for mistakes. Fix all the mistakes in the content checker report. And after that, when you have all the mistakes fixed, 
you can upload the file to the cleanup tool. So it will delete for you all the content checker boxes that you didn't remove. Uh, after that, the, uh, the cleanup tool will give you another file to download, which will be now clean and ready for you. And just to sum this all up, please use the content checker and use the cleanup tool. And keep in mind things you need to check manually because content checker can't do it for you. Uh, content checker is the most effective way how to minimize the human's error errors in the content mistakes and it is the fastest way how to discover even the smallest changes that makes uh, all the difference and you should always remember that you can make the most beautiful slide but if there are content mistakes client will just not be happy so thank you for your attention <laughs>